Hi YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we're making a classic Iraqi recipe called bamiya, which literally translates to okra. This hearty okra and lamb based stew is one of my all time favorites. It's super healthy, rich in flavor, and a must for all you bone broth lovers. Now, my khala makes the best bamiya in town, so I've captured her secret recipe just for you. Bamiya is traditionally served with white rice, which Iraqis call timman, so we're also going to be showing you how to make that today. Guys, let's get started on our bamiya and timman recipe. So here we have 800 grams of baby frozen okra, which we're going to soak in cold water for about 5 to 10 minutes. After this, we're just going to rinse our okra under cold water, drain it and set it aside. So here we have about 500 grams of washed lamb cuts. Small cuts are better, but we only had large pieces today. We're going to cover them in cold water and place them on a medium high heat until it reaches its first boil. Now we can drain all this stuff away and give the meat another good wash under cold water. Guys, this step is super important to ensure that the broth tastes amazing. Next, we need to get our pressure cooker on the heat with two tablespoons of ghee. If you don't have ghee, that's okay, you can always use olive oil. We're gonna saute our boiled meat until it's nice and browned. Now follow this up by adding two heads of garlic into the pot, one whole and the other peeled and segmented. Add three heaped tablespoons of tomato paste into the pot and now we can saute these three ingredients together until the flavors come out and combine. Make sure when you're sauteing the garlic doesn't brown though, we want it to stay white in its color. Next, we're gonna add one liter of tomato puree to this mix. We've made this by blending two cans of tomato and mixing it with about 400 mils of water. So add to this a teaspoon of black pepper. Guys, we don't wanna add any salt or stock at this stage. I'm gonna give this a quick saute and then we're going to close it up and leave it to pressure cook for about 40 minutes or until the meat is soft. Now after 40 minutes of pressure cooking, we can add in our washed and drained okra alongside one tablespoon of salt to taste and one tablespoon of stock powder. We wanna mix these through and we're going to cook this in the pressure cooker for around another 20 minutes. Now while that's cooking, we're gonna make our rice. Here we have two cups of basmati rice, which we're adding one liter of water to and some salt. We're gonna allow this to cook on medium high heat, uncovered until the rice doubles in size or is about 80% cooked through. Now once the rice is 80% cooked through or al dente, we're going to drain it. We're gonna place our cooked rice back in the pot with two tablespoons of ghee, a little more salt to taste, and one fourth cup of water. Toss the rice through the ghee and steam on a very low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes more. Now let's make a quick chopped salad on the side while the rice is cooking. We're using whatever we have in the fridge today and we're gonna to toss it through a classic Middle Eastern dressing of lemon, olive oil, and salt. By then, our bamiya stew should be ready and we can check on it. Wow, this is definitely ready. The meat is falling off the bone, it's super soft, the broth is rich, it has that sourness from the tomatoes, a background of okra and garlic flavor, and of course, it's got that heartiness from our lamb shanks, which we've been cooking for one hour. Guys, if you liked today's recipe, don't be shy, show us some love by giving this video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button to get notified every time I post a new video. Let's serve our bamiya with a bit of delicious basmati rice and a side of salad. So good. I hope you enjoyed today's traditional Iraqi recipe. Shout out to Khala Khola for sharing her bamiya secrets with us. 
Enjoy guys and happy cooking.